experience, in my experience when it came to being in a mental hospital, there's a certain level of humor that you have to be able to have and handle in order for you to get through your stay. When I was in the mental hospital, every single time I would always tell jokes. I would always try and lighten the mood. Even when I was locked in those padded rooms underneath the ER, I tried to keep a positive outlook and a positive mood. And that's something that a lot of people can have. I mean, it's a very traumatic experience. That's that. Those are the verbatim quoted words that my my uh, psychiatrist said. She said it it can be very traumatic. And. She's not lying. It is it is traumatic. Being locked in a padded room underneath the ER, hearing other patients scream, hearing the ambulances come in, and you being powerless to do nothing when it came to any of that, that's that's pretty that's pretty terrifying. That's pretty traumatic. Those experiences are not uncommon too, and that's one of the things that I find is very uh is very hard for a lot of people when they go into the mental hospital. It's that beginning stage where you're where you're just sorry, there's a there's a there's a motorcycle outside, but it's that starting stage where you are very ignorant to what the whole process is, especially if it's your first time going into the mental hospital. So I would always keep a positive outlook, and I try to make humor. So one of the uh, in those padded rooms underneath the ER, one of the nurses gave me a magazine, and it was a woman's magazine, and it was practically cut into a thousand pieces so while I was reading through it I was like oh yeah I was, she, the nurse would come in every now and then to take my vitals and I would just try and talk with her make conversation you know crack jokes be like oh oh miss check this out I wonder if I wear this I'll look pretty like you and I, that's kind of weird but the nurse was around my age so I thought it would be fine to be a little bit flirty and after that, I'd be like, ah, no, 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 I have a girlfriend, no, 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 I'm joking. But I would try, even th even in, if those jokes were a bit uh, weird and creepy and out of nowhere, I, I just, I clung on to any sort of humor that I could possibly have. What are you barking at? What are you barking at? Oh, there's people outside. She is a very protective dog. She gets very, very protective. Every time we go on a walk, she's like eyeing down people as we go on our walk. So yeah. Hey Scout, look. No, look. <sighs> There's people outside. It's fine. Scout, it's fine. Hey, Scout, Scout, it's fine. Scout, look. Look at me. I don't know what to do when it, when she gets like this. I I genuinely I don't know. But back to the story, I tried to be as open to humor as possible. There was a time in group therapy where I would go on and on and on about how I had a son. And <laughs> obviously I don't have a son, but I would always make up these nonsensical stories about having a son and be like, oh, my son loves McDonald's and cheeseburgers. I remember when we were coming home, he asked for cheeseburgers. Like he was like, like he, uh, he asked for cheeseburgers like he was an addict addicted to cheeseburgers and obviously that joke kind of insensitive especially when it comes to being in a mental hospital but it's something that i tried to use in order to make the situation a bit lighter i remember i was talking with another patient while we were making mashed potatoes and i was talking to him and i was like yo dude i have a son my son would love these mashed potatoes and it, it's sort of just shock humor it's not exactly saying oh yeah i legitimately do have a son it's more of shock humor because i'm i i i, gen I don't i do not look old i do not look my age i look like a five-year-old and whenever people hear oh i have a son they're like wait what the fuck they're like what, what are you talking about you have a son and i'd be like yeah totally i have a son i remember i had three five-hour energies we were on a excursion i, I think we were on an outing they call it an outing and we went to Kohala Mall, which is a mall in uh, on Oahu. And I remember I, I snuck away away from the group and I bought three five hour energies and I chugged them and I came back and I was insanely depressed for, because that's what caffeine does to me. Caffeine makes me really, really depressed. And it's not, it's not a fun experience. So when I went back, I was like, huh, I need, a, I need to find some way to make it seem like I'm not incredibly depressed because we weren't allowed to have any 
any sort of drug during that outing. We weren't allowed to have caffeine. We weren't allowed to have, you know, obviously any explicit drug. And so when it came to being normal, I had to, I had to fake it. I had to fake being normal. And that's a bit of a, that's a bit of a sad thing to admit, having to admit that you had to fake being normal while you're in an environment where it is okay to not be normal. But I just had to hide the fact that I was on a stimulant and that stimulant had made me depressed. It's a weird way to put it, really weird. But I, I would crack jokes. I'd be like, oh yeah, check out my style, check out my shoes, check out my chain because I wore chains. But yeah, it's humor, man. It's one of the it's one of the things that can really and that can really save you from having a very bad time. Scout, what are you doing? But yeah, hope you enjoy. It. Sorry if any of this offended you. I really don't give a shit if you're offended, but sorry if it offended you. But yeah, catch you in the next one.